Hi everyone, um, I'm Dr. Glenn Clark. I'm a professor at uh, USC School of Dentistry. I run an online program um, um, and my program is focused on pain and pain mechanisms. I teach multiple courses across the year and I use a light board. I use a light board in all of my lectures um, and I like it and I want to talk to you about it briefly. Um, Here's, a, here's my style of doing it. I usually have my PowerPoints just to keep me on track because uh, uh, that's helpful for me. Uh, I have some diagrams, but then I emphasize specific points in the light board as I'm teaching. Um, I like that approach. Uh, now, here's just a tabletop light board. It's pretty simple, really. Um, and this is a, just a picture of, of a smartphone. You don't even need a panning, zooming uh, webcam or a, even a high quality uh, HD uh, video recorder. Uh, you can do it with a smartphone. They're pretty good. Uh, so, you know, it's not expensive to get involved in this. What are the three things that I want to teach you about light boards? Well, there's three things that I like about it. And, and the first one is Stand and Deliver. Yeah, I know it's the name of a movie, and I like the movie. It was about teaching. Um, teaching's a performance art. You've got to keep the students engaged with you. You have to look them in the eye. You have to show them your enthusiasm. You have to talk to them about the things that excite you, and hopefully they will pick that up and, and join you in that excitement. Emphasis. You stop the lecture periodically and you emphasize a point. And you can do that because it's asynchronous, so you don't have a person out there to ask. <laughs> what, what did I just say? You know, that helps too, but you can't do that asynchronously. So you can do it with uh, writing. And emphasis is part of the uh, you know, slowing it down process and saying, this is the what I want you to learn. And then time to learn. And that's the third point. Time to learn means that you slow it down and you, you don't end up with cognitive overload. Cognitive overload is you just give too much too fast and I can't retain anything uh, from the student side. And, and so by slowing it down and emphasizing the critical points, um, it helps. It helps with the time to learn.